Good morning, Hudson. Good morning, Susie. How are you? Good. Good. Hudson, I've heard that you've had your spleen removed. Yeah. Why did you have that removed? Because I was getting really sick uh -huh. and I had a yellow face. Oh dear, doesn't sound good. Susie, why did he have his remo spleen removed? His red blood cells are the wrong shape and as they're going through the spleen they were being destroyed. Mm -hmm. And did they, do you have to remember anything about not having a spleen? To take antibiotics every day. Yes. Um, to eat well. Keep, eat well, yes. To get a needle every year. Yes. And yeah. And what does the spleen do in a normal person or in a healthy person? It helps you from getting sick. And how does it do that? It. Susie? It makes white blood cells that help fight infection. Mm -hmm. So they're special cells that the, the spleen made and they fight bacteria. So people without spleens are always going to be at risk because they're of bacterial infections because their immune system has been depleted. And we want you to remember how to live healthily. And the three things that we go through people without a spleen at the spleen registry is that you need some antibiotics and you take them daily. Do you take something, Hudson? Yeah, antibiotics. Yes, and what do you, do you know what the name of it is? It's amoxicillin. Amoxicillin, great. We have a, a, a batch of other antibiotics on hand. Yeah, excellent. In case he does get sick, that so we start straight away. And fantastic, that's the emergency supply. Yeah. So people commonly take penicillin, amoxicillin, and if they're allergic to that, there are other types of antibiotics. So Hudson, how would you know if you had a bad infection? If I got a headache, mm -hmm. burning throat, mm -hmm. feel like I'm going to vomit and diarrhea. Okay. And shivers and shakes. Fantastic. So Hudson, you said that you had to have a couple of needles? Yeah. Yep. So we call them immunisations or vaccinations. And the ones that we give specifically to people without spleens, big names here, pneumococcal, meningococcal, haemophilus influenza, and then you have your annual f flu shot. And the reason that we give you the flu shot is that we don't want you to get the flu because if you get the flu, then you're run down and you're more likely to get bacterial infections. Okay? So what else can you do to stay healthy? Eat healthy food. Mm -hmm. Eat healthy foods. Do you have any animals or dogs at home? Cats? Rabbit. A rabbit. Fantastic. So what we also tell people is that the rabbits and cats and dogs carry an, a bacteria underneath their claws or around their teeth so that if they bite or scratch you and your scratch or bite gets really red that you must go to and see your GP and show that uh, where the scratch bite is. And then the other third part of it is about giving you some information about life without a spleen because people forget it or people haven't been given the right information. What about travel? If you said travel. I have to get a needle every time I go to travel. Yeah, like if you go places. If you go to Asia or countries where there's malaria that can get transmitted by mosquitoes, you must go and see a travel doctor. And again, always remind the person that you see that you don't have a spleen. But one of the most important things that you must remember and do is when you see a doctor or a nurse, you must always tell them that you don't have a spleen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And how do you remember all these things? Do you carry anything on you? Yeah. What's that, Hudson? It's a card that says things to remember mm -hmm. that I should always bring with me. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So should we go through those once more? Okay, so we mentioned um, that if you ha feel unwell with shivers and shakes, that you must present to your local doctor. And what do you always remind the doctor when you get there? That I don't have a spleen. Fantastic. Okay, and the next thing it says is antibiotics. So take them when you're recommended. Some people are on them every day. And even if you're on them every day, you still must have an emergency supply of antibiotics. Okay, what else does it say? It says to carry or have a medallion or an alert card. And that's what this is. Every person without a spleen must have this. 
and when they go and see a doctor, flash that to them. If they don't understand or haven't ever seen somebody without a spleen before and you've presented with a bad infection and they're not sure what you're talking about, ask them to either ring the Alfred Hospital Infectious Diseases Unit or an infectious diseases doctor or go to the Spleen Registry's website. It also reminds you about animal and cat and dog bites and rabbits, we better add rabbits. It also says about travel, so to check with the travel doctor and remind them that you don't have a spleen. Yeah. One of the things about living without a spleen is that your risk of infection you'll have forever and ever. It's a lifelong thing. So you must always remember about those signs and symptoms about how to detect that you have a bad infection. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay.